lovely people coupon crystal here welcome back to the channel guys i wanted to share something with you on today okay it is uh 5 45 on a saturday morning <laughs> good morning <laughs> good morning lovely people <laughs> i'm in my prayer closet guys and um let me tell you what happened this morning well actually friday morning right into work i was listening to uh, YouTube and I was listening I had listened to one person and I'd started listening to another person um, you know it was spiritual motivational I got pajamas on sorry it was spiritual motivational and I believe the Holy Spirit said to me because I heard it in my mind uh, everybody can't pour into your cup everybody can't pour into your cup I immediately cut that person off <laughs> I cut that person off because everybody that is teaching whether it be inspirational whether it's me everything I say if I come on here and I give you a scripture go look it up ask God for revelation for yourself but you need to test the spirit to give you a scripture for that first john 4 and 1 dear friends do not believe every spirit but test the spirits to see whether they are from god because many false prophets have gone out into the world i am not a prophet i am just uh god's daughter okay and like i tell y'all god is my daddy Jesus is my big brother. Leave me be now. <laughs> Y'all know I got the joke, okay? But on a serious note, there were so many scriptures that I looked up just based off of that little, small, little revelation of everybody can't pour into your cup because your cup, I'm going to just show you this cup. Your cup is you your spirit everybody can't pour into your spirit and i would encourage every believer every babe in christ which is a new believer a new person in christ to read your bible allow the bible app to read to you hear god's word for yourself ask god to give you a revelation of his word for yourself don't even trust the fact that when you go to church that the ministers are teaching the correct thing this is the reason why i say that because it says in the very last days the very elect will be deceived i'm not telling you to go in there and start arguing with people that's not what i'm saying i'm simply telling you that you need to be able to rightfully divide the word of truth you need to be able to take your word and cut it and dissect it and expect God to give you a revelation okay he is his word okay he watches over his word so he does not have a problem giving you a revelation okay let me find the scripture that relates to what I just said for false Christ and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders so as to lead astray if possible even the elect Matthew 24 and 24 I will link uh, the scriptures below probably going to link all the scriptures that I found because there are several scriptures that I found about bad company keeping bad company there's a lot about that. It's very imperative not to keep bad company. Because have you noticed when you have friends, when you have family members, we, sometimes their habits can rub off on you. You notice if you hang around a person long enough, you'll start talking like them. You'll start having mannerisms like them. <laughs> this is true because uh, I have a husband, okay? And I noticed that he says... You know what I'm saying? He says, you know what I'm saying? And guess what? I started saying, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. 
it rubs off, okay? It rubs off on you. So you got to be conscious of the company that you keep, all right? And you got to be conscious of allowing people to pour into your spirit man, allowing people to speak over you, allowing what what you hear and what you see, the eye gates and the ear gates of your spirit, of your soul, you have a responsibility over those things. Because if you listen to certain music long enough, you will have that that thing get in your spirit just like a, a worship song can get in your spirit another type of song can get in your spirit okay <laughs> there are so many scriptures I wanted to share with you guys because hold on just a minute let me tell y'all this one Proverbs 13 and 20 walk with the wise and become wise for a companion of fools suffers harm proverbs 14 and 7 stay away from a fool for you will not find knowledge on their lips that's the truth <laughs> Ooh, this is not gonna be a popular one but i'm gonna put it on here anyway second corinthians 6 and 14 do not be yoked together with unbelievers for what do righteousness and wickedness have in common or what fellowship can light have with darkness? That's not going to be a popular scripture because it has become popular for people to marry unequally yoked. I'm just going to say it. And I know it's going to piss some folks off when I say this, but it's the truth anyhow. All right. If you are a woman, and I'm speaking to women because I know that the majority of the listeners on this video, my demographic for my channel, the majority of y'all are women, okay, like me. So, if you're a believer and you're a woman of God and you go out here and you marry a man that's not seeking or, or having a relationship with God, that ain't going to be good for you, sis. I'm going to just tell you that right now. I'm going to save you a whole bunch of trouble. That ain't going to be good for you. Hear what I'm telling you. That's going to be a problem. You need to really, really, really. You don't even need to consult with God on that. Because I just gave you the doggone scripture right here. Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? It's going to be a problem. If you go and yoke yourself with that. Just saying. 1 Corinthians 5 and 11, but now I'm writing to you that you must not associate with anyone who claims to be a brother or sister, but is sexually immoral or greedy, an idolater, slanderer, a drunkard or swindler. Do not even eat with such people. <laughs> that scripture is just like, ain't giving nobody no space. <laughs> Not even a midget. They like, no, we ain't giving you, we ain't, devil, I ain't giving you no place. Because see what, folks, I think that's the reason why we feel like we stronger in our walk than we really are. Okay? If you know you struggle with certain things, why are you going around people that's still doing those things that you struggle with? Okay. First of all, you can't help nobody get free if you still in bondage to that thing yourself. That ain't gonna work. Okay. That's not gonna work. You really, that's why it says iron sharpens iron. I know I got that scripture. I wrote that scripture down for y'all. Proverbs 27 and 17. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. When you have two people that are believers and they're in friendship together, that iron sharpens iron because you know this person has got their word and this person has their word and y'all are coming together and y'all are talking about the scriptures and you know what? 
I have a girlfriend that lives in Charlotte and we have been friends for years. We don't see each other in the physical often, but we talk on the phone and we're just like, hey sis, hey sis. Weeks can go by and it's just like ain't no time passed. But we are iron sharpeners for each other because if I'm talking about something, she can bring the word in remembrance to me and I do her the same way okay we have a, a relationship with each other that we are okay with correcting each other you know if you're gonna have a friend if you're gonna have a sis if you gonna have a a, 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 a a prayer partner you're gonna have somebody that's gonna keep you accountable that is a wonderful awesome and amazing but put that relationship against the word. You know what I'm saying? You don't want that person to have such a place in your life that their opinion and their perception matters more than God. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay? Because sometimes, especially as women, you know, we have our girlfriends and we have our close friends and we have our sisters and we just hold that person in such high regard, especially if they have been walking with the Lord longer than we have. We have a perception of we think they're in a certain place in God. So therefore, they their opinion carries some weight in our lives, okay? Now, let me say this. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but anything out of order, disproportion to God and the Holy Spirit and the Lord in your life is a problem, okay? Because nobody's voice needs to be louder in your head than God's. Holy Spirit, Jesus, don't nobody's voice need to be louder than his, okay? You need to be able to hear from God. Hear from God for yourself. Not, hey, Karen, girl, I'm going through. What Did God give you a word for me? Did you hear anything? What the world? I can't stand that. You know why I can't stand that? Because that right there is putting a limitation on God. As if God can only talk to you through your pastor or through your prophetess or through your girlfriend or through your big mama, your grandma. Stop the foolishness, okay? First of all, if you would get a relationship for yourself, then you can hear from him for yourself. He might not, you might not hear an audible voice. It might be just this scripture just, just seems to jump off this tablet to you. It may be that that same scripture, I seen it on a billboard or I seen them on TV. I'm going to tell y'all something. When God want to get a message to you, he'll get a message to you. He ain't got to go through nobody else to get it to you. For what? He's the master communicator. What he need to go through other people to get a message to you? I'm not going to say that he won't give a message through confirmation, but it'll be multiple. It'll be multiple things. And I'm going to show you. I had a book over here. It was a book that was here, right? And I was in here and I got through praying and I looked over and I seen the book and I was like, wow. <laughs> Where that book come from? I don't even remember that book being in here. It looks interesting. I mean, look at it. <laughs> I was like, man. It was talking about running your race. It was talking about running your spiritual race. And it had runners on it. And the book is actually uh, in my backpack. I think I can't remember. But at any rate, that, that's not important. The fact is that the book was in here. I didn't remember how I got it, if I purchased it, if it was a gift. I can't remember. But I do believe God wanted me to read, start reading that book. Okay? I got the book. I went and I started uh, reading the book. Guess what happened the next morning? The next morning, I turn on the TV and it's Joyce Myers. Now, Joyce Myers wrote part of the foreword for the book and I was still didn't make a correlation or connection to the book 
I'm listening. And what is Joyce Myers talking about? Running your race, your spiritual walk. Then this lady pops up on the dog on TV in the midst of the Joyce Meyer presentation. And guess who it is? The doggone lady that wrote the book that I started to doggone read that night before. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, that's the lady that wrote the book. <laughs> See, that's how God works for me. That that's that's his confirmation for me. I was like, okay, God's talking. I need to read this doggone book. He really wants me to read this book. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I say all that to mean this right here. It was just profound to me for, I believe, the Spirit of God to tell me everybody can't pour in your cup because he wants me to know that I can't listen to everybody in this season. I can't listen to everybody. Everybody can't tell me stuff. I need to hear from God himself. I need to hear from the Holy Spirit. I need to read his word and study his word for myself. I'm not going to be able to depend on a secondhand word, okay? I need to, sometimes you need to just close your stuff down, shut your stuff down when you're listening to somebody and ain't quite registering that don't quite sound like the word, that don't quite sound like that's right, you need to judge that thing and test it by the Spirit, okay? There's so many scriptures. I don't want to make this video super long, so I'm not going to. That was one more scripture that I really wanted to read to you guys, but I had to share that because I know that wasn't me. That wasn't my spirit. That wasn't me thinking of that. You understand what I'm saying? And it was just like, Okay, I'm going to cut them off, you know. <laughs> I don't think I need to listen to them then. <laughs> Why else would the Lord say that? It's just like, okay, I don't need to listen to them right now. <laughs> cut them off. <laughs> this is the last scripture I wanted to share with you guys. Isaiah 8 and 19. And when they say to you, inquire of the mediums and the necromancers who chirp and mutter, should not a people inquire of their God? Should they inquire of the dead on behalf of the living? And I know this is going to be very unpopular and somebody might get mad, but it's okay anyhow, sis. Okay? Stop saying you is looking to the ancestors and the ancestors is doing this and the ancestors is doing that stuff that foolishness okay this scripture is very clear it's very clear we don't have no business as believers of the most high god doing that all right now i think i'm going to end it because there's so many scriptures i'll be on here and this will be a very long video but i hope this was helpful for you i hope it made you think I hope you're going to go in the description box of the video and look at the scriptures because it's just so many scriptures. The scriptures that I have never even read before. And I'm just like, wow, like, wow, like, wow. Like the, the, the word is just very clear on this subject. And it's just so important. It's just so important to have your, your relationship, not your mama's relationship, not your grandma's relationship but your relationship. All right. I hope you guys have an amazing day on Saturday, uh, on today, because it is Saturday. But I'm going to stay up and I'm going to upload this video because I want y'all guys to have it. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.